Hello friends, I hope you're doing well, really well today. I recognize that my live has been very delayed this week. I apologize about that, but I just wanted to give you all two really important things to think about as you look at the rest of the series on gut health and um, intuitive eating and nutrition and all that, is that two of the most important places that as the nutrition therapy piece concerns that we have some say over in the work we do is that we want to make sure that we work on our nervous system health regulation. If you're not doing that piece of it, you can change your food all you want. You can do 10,000 doctor's appointments. You can take lots of meds and supplements. But if your body is always in this like distress state of fight or flight or freeze or please, you're less likely to get healing is if you, you know, do your trauma work, do your stress management kind of work, that's vitally important. And number two, is your food out of chaos mode? And I'll call chaos mode emotional over or under eating, um, putting off meals, um, like adhering to, to like even too strict a food, um, um, I don't know, like protocols to even get better. Sometimes it's like we, we jump too soon in trying to use food as the fixer when really we just need more food and we need more frequency and um, we need some space for our guts to actually heal. So um, this little video is just a short reminder to, instead of like overly honing in on like, am I eating something wrong, too much of something, too little of something, um, scope out more broadly. Of course you should go to the, the, the doctor and get um, um, appropriate diagnosis for things if they exist. But for a lot of times, if we're not seeing something that, you know, some testing might be missing. I've known lots of people that have gotten great answers going well well beyond um, uh, colonoscopies and endoscopies. They need actually some like full CT scans or some x-rays to look at the physiology and the function of, um, of our gut. But sometimes that stuff's clear. And what we need to be really focused on really is the two things I just spoke of is our nervous system health and are we adequately, adequately feeding our guts? Is the chaos gone? You know, if the chaos is gone and your nervous system health regulation is really good, but you're still having gut health things, you know, probably there's something obviously more mechanical and functional going on. But if you look at like, wow, like I'm out of malnutrition, I'm out of food chaos, I'm out of like under or over, and I've learned how to be in my window of tolerance and, and how to provide my body, um, with the resourcing to help me be in now time and, and feel safer, you know, that will heal a lot of our gut health issues. So um, I hope I hope you got all that today. I hope that was helpful. Um, those of you who said you can't hear me, maybe turn up your volume. I'm hoping this is picking up. If any of us is watching this replay and there's no sound, I'll redo it later, but I've got to hop off. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.